Well, Marie Edwards and I are here this morning because we want to do everything we can to keep the Liberal National Government to its word and see the Bendigo Hospital completed, the new Bendigo Hospital completed by 2016. Last week, the Liberal Health Minister was in Bendigo and uh, once he fronted the media, he couldn't commit to that 2016 deadline and we think that's not good enough. Bendigo shouldn't have to wait any longer than is necessary for its new hospital to be completed. But with the tender process in a complete shambles, at the moment the tender process is like a complete dog's breakfast because of the bungling by the uh, Liberal National Government, there's now doubt over the 2016 completion date. And so what we want to see from the, uh, from the government is for them to, uh, to commit to this timeline to make sure the new hospital is built by 2016. But we also uh, want to see the board of Bendigo Health, uh, Michael Langdon, to join with us to put pressure on the Liberal National Government at this crucial stage of the tender process. Now, uh, Michael Langdon knows well that the Bendigo Hospital was to be completed by 2016. As a former Liberal Party candidate at the last state election, that was the timeline that he signed up to. He now has the opportunity as the chair of the board to join with us to make sure that the maximum pressure is put on the Liberal National Government to make sure that the new hospital is completed by 2016. Mr Langdon is quite prepared to uh, target the federal government and put pressure on them to address funding issues around Bendigo Health and uh, I think it's appropriate that Mr Langdon should also put pressure on the current state government uh, to let the Bendigo community know when the Bendigo Hospital, the new Bendigo Hospital project will be completed. We're, we're really calling on uh, Michael Langdon to cast aside his Liberal Party uh, preferences, to cast aside his, uh, his associations with the Liberal Party and to put Bendigo first, to put the needs of the, the community first and to make sure that every pressure point is being placed on the, on the Liberal National Government to see the hospital completed by 2016. Uh, the, the Chair of the Board, Michael Langdon, has had a lot to say about issues with the Federal Labor Government. He's been prepared to speak out on those issues. Well, we want him to be consistent, to do the same thing on this issue, and we'd be happy for him to join with us, to join with us to make sure that the maximum pressure is placed on the, uh, on the Liberal National Government to get this job done, to get the hospital completed by 2016, because Bendigo patients shouldn't have to wait a moment longer for their new hospital. This new hospital was to be started by now. There was meant to be work uh, on the new hospital site by the end of 2012, and that hasn't happened. Um, and the government have now introduced a new stage in the tender process. They've added an even another further step that's delayed the, the, the tender process even further. 